Kerbal Space Programs. But also those uh, radial mounted small rocket boosters, they are actually quite useful for separation in space. As he has on, throttle. We don't need it just yet, but let's see what those solid rocket boosters do. They make a lot of noise. And they're done. So that was it. That's funny. What? Awesome! Thank you for that tip. Can I look back? No, I can't. Okay, so... This is what a pod looks like. Is that my actual little speed? Yeah, that's not good. How do you can where, where can you see your altimeter? Okay, so that's your vertical indication speed. This is your altimeter, I think, the second clock. And the other one is the radar altitude. What the hell is that? But we're dropping like mad now, but uh, we don't care. Let's make it into a landing. Wow, throttle is even responsive there. Yeah, you really can't see anything. You can't see the ground even. But this is a lot of fun. They should have an orbital map as well, but yeah. Who am I to judge? Well, Jeb, you're gonna die immediately after the first launch. Pretty much. Will the pod survive? <laughs> Smooth landing on 0.17. Just like we wanted it. Good job, Jeb. Also, an IVA button right here. That's nice. <laughs> well done. Victory dance. What in the world? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Screenshot. Because this is my first launch in 0 0.17. And I call this a success. In Kerbal standards. Look yeah. at the stars. Wow. They really updated this game. There's a lot to be done. Oh boy. Planets, planets, more planets. Let's just check this orbital map. Oh wow! Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, that's that's a gas giant then. That's a long way gone. Jesus. And Moho, what kind of planet is that? Can we zoom into that? Look at that. This is freaking awesome. Well, that kind of looks like um, someone's asshole, actually. Okay. <laughs> Back to the game. Ah, oh, boy. Eve, this is the... This is the... Oh, it has a moon? Gilly? Wow. Okay. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, I got the build rockets. Let's see. Center of lift. Center of thrust. Yeah, we know that. Center of mass. Right in the middle. Where am I trying to go? Um, into orbit at first, then use the moon to a slingshot uh, into sun orbit, and wherever the sun orbit may take me, actually. So if you get slingshotted uh, a bit towards the sun, it's going to be... Um, what's the planet called? Um, then it's going to be uh, this one, uh, the Eve. And if we get slingshotted outwards, it's going to be Duna. Let's just launch from here. Because you guys like it. Going up.
Let's look at the new stars they were talking about. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. This is looking fine and detailed. Also, the sun's um, corona isn't that much intrusive anymore, as it seems. Oh, <laughs> they put a lot of effort in this. I like this patch. So that was my final burn stage for atmospheric purposes. So going for this one. off as he has on extending our apps to right about there so the moon has a lot of travel time to do and we have a lot of travel time to do also Periaps is at 2000. Get it lower. Okay, right on the apple, so I'm going to try something. Yes! Are we grabbed now? Seems like it. And we got a very low parry apps and our escape trajectory is right spot on. This is looking good. Um, and our inclination is not all that bad, although I could burn south now, which I'm actually gonna do. While well, the moon is at an altitude of 11 million, our apoapse is actually at 18 million with just a tiny bit of fuel. So that's what slingshotting means. And we're gonna extend this arc actually even more Well, when we're on the periapse. So then we're gonna do a prograde burn right into the uh, away from Kerbin actually. So I'm gonna coast towards that periapse. Yeah, one minute. That should give us enough time to rotate the th uh, this uh, craft around. Why did I extend my legs? Get back there and don't explode. So, prograde. Where are you? 